Hello everyone, and welcome to another vital SpaceX update. A whirlwind of activity has unfolded at SpaceX Starbase since my last update. Rest assured, I'll cover all the noteworthy details in this video. Let's dig in. First and foremost, let's unveil the first official images of the newly crowned star of Starbase. The integration of the flame deflector interstage onto Booster 9 has been successfully accomplished. As anticipated, Booster 9 is now primed for transport to the launch site this coming Saturday morning. A notice of potential road delay has been issued for transport activities, albeit not specifically for Booster 9's rollout. Keep an eye out for potential road closures on the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. During this time, we're likely to witness additional testing before S25 is stacked atop the booster. My belief remains steadfast that we could potentially see the next Starship launch as early as August 31st. The FAA license could be imminent. SpaceX's team knows what they're doing, diligently preparing the ship for liftoff. How many of you are planning to drive down the Boca Chica Highway to catch a glimpse of the ship before its final journey into the ocean or the possibility of a mid-air disintegration? I'm anticipating an even larger crowd this time, given the high likelihood of success. A significant recent event at Starbase was the water deluge test involving the newly added tank. The visual spectacle of this test is captivating, and I'm fully confident that the water-cooled steel plates will effectively manage the heat generated by the 33 Raptors. The construction site was a hive of activity yesterday. A group of Raptors was set free, with some of them now installed on Starship S-28. As Booster 9 inches closer to its flight, Booster 10 has been moved into the Mega Bay for engine installation. SpaceX's rapid pace is evident, as they're already gearing up for the next Starship launch. That's pretty impressive. Don't forget that Starship S-26, currently gracing the Rocket Garden, had its six Raptors installed several months back. Within the high bay, the stacking of Starship S-30 has been completed. It seems Starship's rocket production isn't slowing down anytime soon. The future of space exploration is teeming with excitement, all thanks to SpaceX. Are you a part of Team SpaceX? If so, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Before we conclude, let's catch up on updates from India's and Russia's lunar spacecraft. Chandrayaan 3's propulsion module and lander successfully separated on August 17 at 1.15 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Following this, the lander executed its first deorbit burn flawlessly, with the second burn scheduled for August 20, 2023. Take a look at some captivating images of the lunar surface captured by the Lander Position Detection Camera LPDC, aboard the Vikram lander. Russia's Luna 25 is also making significant strides, with preparations underway for a soft lunar touchdown next week. The spacecraft has already transmitted its initial lunar surface images, captured by its onboard camera. The concept of two spacecraft, a mere few hundred kilometers apart, orbiting the moon in search of the perfect landing site, is truly fascinating. One can't help but wish that both spacecraft could land simultaneously, allowing us to witness two historic events side by side. Here's to the success of both missions. As a bonus, enjoy a clip of SpaceX conducting an extended duration hot firing test on a gimbaled Raptor engine set at an angle. Observe the engine firing up at such a steep angle on a relatively small gimbal mount. And that's a wrap on this concise update video. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, take care.